Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework. Today we are going to install Quasar Store's present Quasar Appearance. So first of all, you need to visit their official website. I'll provide the link in description. After clicking through the link, you need to click on Script section. Here you can see it has a multiple type of scripts. For now, today we are going to install the Quasar Appearance. You need to scroll it down. Here you can find, just click on it. Here you can see it supports QB and ESX, both of the framework. Also, it supports the standalone facility. So you can also start with standalone facilities. After that, it shows some special features with sharing outfit, custom clothing, stock management, also automatic image capturing while from the pads using green screen. First of all, you need to click on add to cart. Here you can see that I added the appearance in my cart. For the continuing the purchase, you need to link your CFX ID. After linking your CFX ID, it will directly redirect you to the checkout page. Make sure to check out. After checking out, you will receive your script in your Keymaster ID. Here you can see, I have already received the script. Just click on download and save it to your computer. After that, open the file. Click on extract here, then copy the file and paste it to your server directory as I am pasting it to my server. Here you can see, after opening the file, you can see the appearance section. You need to just cut it and paste it down. And open the file, you can see multiple files. First of all, you need to open the SQL section. You can find the SQL for the closing menu. Just open it with the Visual Studio code. After reaching to the Visual Studio code, you need to open your SQL, copy your SQL file, and paste it to your new query section, and settle it into your database. After that, just click on Refresh, and your appearance SQL is ready to go after that. Close the file of SQL, and then go to the QS Appearance section for doing any type of configuration. We will recommend you to open the documentation present by Quasar. Here you can see Installation Guide and Documentation. I will provide the link in description. If you have any issues, you can also try the Quasar GPT. After that, here you can see you need to first download it. After that, we need to follow our dependencies as we are using Oxlib and MySQL with the screenshot basics for this element. After that, if you are having a previous any type of appearance like a Alenium appearance or 5M appearance, you can directly delete them. After deleting, you can also see it's comfortable with the ESX skin changer. After that, you need to update your game build as we are running with the latest game build version, so we don't need to worry about that. After that, we need to position something, so we need to follow this element that ensure appearance, and after that, make sure to notice that if you are using green screen script that's provided by the Quasar after using one time, it will capture all the images that your clothing having. After capturing that, make sure to stop the green screen. So it will more, it will do more efficiency in your server with zero lag, and also don't run them all time. Just use it one time and that set if you are any, Having problem with saving them, just use this command, save images. I'll show it in game with the proper demonstration. After that, we also installed the database for QB and ESX, then with the multi-character integration as we are using different multi-character. Still, I will show you the integration about that for if you are having QB multi-character, it's already given by them. The appearance section, just copy it and paste it there. For now, we are just copying the export and showing you the export system. As I am using other multi-character system, I just configure it for myself. I'll and open the config. Here you can see multiple files. First of all, it is the blacklist.lua. I will just open it. It's the basic thing if you want to do any type of blacklist in your sections, like if you are willing to do any type of clothing that should not be allowed in your server. You can directly put the number for any category. That's it. Close this and open the job.lua. First of all, it supports on-time server job update system. So you need to just add the coordinates about this. As we can see, police system are already added. We don't need to change anything. So you don't need to worry about it. You can also use the poly zone. I'll just make it false. Then just close the file, open the main UA. Here you can find the main configuration of QS appearance. First of all, you can see it supports ESX framework, QB core, and QBox framework without any issue. After that, you can find the path of the images. It stored the path without any issue. You can also use the target system. For now, it supports qubit target and OX target. I'll just make it false. 
After that, it supports the text UI. As I am using the text UI, I'll show you the also, so you can change the pricing of your clothing change. After that, it supports for now QS inventory, but I hope in future it will support various of inventory, and it also works without an inventory on standalone condition. After that, you can directly control your tattoo system and single character drawback. It is a basic draw list of mask, hair, hands, legs, everything basic configuration that we are having with the prop system. You don't need to change about anything. And after this drawback system, you can also disable the sound using true. I'll just make it enable for the haptic UI experience. And you can also use the nearest of shop only system. If you are having multiple blips in your map, you can just make it true. It will show nearest close swap blip only in your map. It also supports the QS interface. You don't need to worry about the interface system. Just close this. We don't need to integrate anything because it's already auto configured. If you want to try or change any type of bindings or actions, you can do it from here. Make sure to disable the debug for now. I am disabling the debug. That's it. Just close the config file. Then we go to the ped.lua. If you're having any type of additional ped, you can directly add it without any issue and it automatically listed on the closing menu. Just like that, here you can see. Then close the PED menu. Here you can see the price, Dalue. You can see the all price based on the different components and tops. Here is the head section. Here is the top section. You can make it designated with any section if you want to make. That's it. Just open the store.lua. It will support multiple stores by default. Dot. By default, if I am not wrong, it supports more than 15 shops. All over the map, if you want to add any type of special store for police, EMS, or personal, any type of clothing system, you can add it from there without any issue after that. Here is the tattoo.lua section as the basic tattoo configuration. If you want to add any type of tattoo for additional, you can directly add it without any issues as like the pet section. That's it. Then we'll go for the green screen section. You don't need to change it any about green screen setting. Also with this map, you don't need to change anything about this. Here is the image lower. It all the images loaded into the index.js. You don't need to change anything about this. That's it. We'll just close the file and make sure to ensure the file in your server. CFG after ensuring the file. Just run your server. It will run easily without any issues. If you are finding any issues, you can contact them in Discord and open the ticket with the proper way, and let's see in-game how the scripts work. Before going to the in-game preview, we need first enter the game and the execute the save images, command, then click on save components, and select all components, then confirm it will automatically load all add-on close images into the database. Just run the command one time after that stop the green screen. Fao its give us a lot of stabilizes server environment, the Quasar Appearance System gives players access to fully featured appearance menus inside stores or designated locations. Saves data seamlessly to your player database. Integrates with clothing shops and ped skin menus using green screens. Here you can see, guys, I am in game. Now we have to create our character, so I use the character creation menu. Here you can see my character was created. Now I am waiting for my appearance to come after loading to the progress bar. Here you can see the appearance automatically come as we provide the export. With our multi-character, we can easily inter integrate our appearance. First of all, first option we can see. Here is the outfit option. Second is the character, then upper body, lower body accessories, and tattoos. So first of all, we'll click on outfit section as the outfit. You need to create your own outfit. Then it will show here. Then we'll go to the character option character option for that we need to create our interface character for that just click on pet selection it will automatically capture all the pets that we are having so like animal pets or just this type of pet i'll just create the normal ordinary character then click on interface you can directly adjust your interference for the mother tribe i'll just do this and make it as a default also same goes to the skin section that's it then we'll go to the facial features we can easily induct anything then we will go to the hair section as we are having multiple hair. We'll just choose one here. You can see all images are loading properly without any issue with the proper integration. I'll just choose one of the hair and just choose this one. We can also have the two palette of colors. First of all, the primary color or the hair color. 
Second was the highlighter, as if you want to do any type of highlights here. You can see I just do the blue color to show you the proper highlight tint and we'll go for the blush. If you are creating a female creator, it's needed for them. Then go to the beard section. As you can see, you don't see any type of beard until we increase the opacity. After that, you can see multiple beards. I'll just do this one. You can also change the color. I'll just leave it to the black. Also, you can change the eyebrow. I'll just increase the opacity. Just leave it this one. Also, you can set the aging. I'll just level to opacity. Should be this type, 0.3, should be enough. Same goes to the makeup, blush complexions, and sun damage lipstick. Anything, if you want, you can do it also. Body hair, eye color. I'll just, you can do any type of eye color. If you want, I'll just make it default. Then we will go through the upper body section. Here you can see it's totally divided with multiple parts. Tops, undershirt, gloves, hands, decals, waist and bag. We just go through the top. Here is the texture option, and here is the outfits. Changing our tops, we need to change our undershirt. To this one, just make it empty, and then we will go for the top section, and I will just choose any type of jacket or a coat for that. I will just choose this one and change this texture. Same goes to the gloves also. I'll go for the this one. And then with the hand, we can also change the hand without any issues. With the proper body, do that this one. I need to change the hand again. For the hand, we need to do this gloves. That's it. Then we'll go for the undershirt. Wear any type of undershirt, just this like. Then we'll go for the lower body. Then pants, wear any type of casual pants. Use the pant. I'll just go and just choose the pant. You can also change the texture. Then we will go for the shoes and just check any type of shoes. We will change the texture and that's it. We can also change our accessories as like the glasses and all. I have a glass that we want. Just do this glasses and that's it. Here you can see all the components for first creation is free. After that, it will charge in your clothing store. Also, we can put some tattoos over there. I will just put this one and that's it. I think, I think this will be this and that's it. I'll do the checkout. Then here you can see with the proper UI animation, we are at the clothing store. Here you can see we have the multiple options for outfits, upper body, lower body, accessories, and then we have the admin access to manage stock management job outfit management and arm management then we are going to just create a job outfit for police just naming them police and providing the job of lspd and grading the name with lspd chief and then save the outfit for them and here you can see the saver outfit for police and you can also share them with the proper preview then we will go to the barbershop so here you can see i am at the barbershop just pressing it to interact and you have the two options one is the personal outfit and one is the characters. So first click on the character. You can see multiple options with makeups and beard and hair. Everything, I'll just change the hair. I'm having all this hair. I'll just change it to any other, just like this. And the color palette would be this. And same goes to the beard section. If I'll do this and that's it and done here, you can see it's saved without any issue with seamless experience. Now we'll go to the tattoo shop Get away from me here. You can see I am at the tattoo shop. Same goes to this, passing it to the interaction. And here you can see tattoos, hair tattoo, right arm. I'll just go to the right arm I place there. I can change the opacity of that same goes to. I can add one more there. You can see same. Um, I can use opacity. I'll just leave it there. Same goes to this, goes that, and that's it. I just saved this with the bank payment and it's properly working without any issue. Now we are going to create a mask soft to show you how I can create the soft without any issues there. You can see, here you can see I am at the swap location. I will just do the execution of command. Create shop, create shop if you typed it. Just click on enter. Here you can see the popped up menu. I will just enter the name of class and you can also active or deactivate the blip on the map. I will just activate it and select the mask category and click confirm. Here you can see it is creating the poly zone. Here you can see, and just click on done. Here you can see it's properly working created. And here you can see directly, you can access the mask without any issues here, you can see. And that's it. Make sure to follow all guides. If you are finding any issues, make sure to contact us on your discord. Thanks for watching.